Women's IBA light middleweight championship on the line. That was a hard right hand by Holm. Mike, the question before this fight was, was Holly Holm going to run? She has answered that definitively. No, she is not. No, absolutely not. Maybe run, maybe run Mary Jo Sanders over or try to. <laughs> Uh, certainly not running and hiding, that's for sure. No, she's here to fight. And she scored with a nice left hand there. She was out here early before the night even began. She was, take a look at the ring. She was hopping around on the ring. She was intense then. She was intense on the walk down through the aisle. Intense in the introduction, and certainly it's carried forward thus far. That was a good left hook to the body there by home. She's having another good round here. And now again, we see her bullying into the corner. Sanders now trying to land that right now and home steps forward. The jab not doing much for Sanders in this fight, Andre. She seems to be scoring most on her right. Home again, bullying her way in. Sanders trying to fight her way out. Confident scores, moves back. Good shot to the body and a good counter by Sanders there. Mike, Sanders may have used too much of her energy to take that one round so definitively. I think she may have won the battle, but she might be losing the war now. Certainly doesn't look like the, la the same fighter the last two rounds. No. As Holly Holm seems right back on her game. Here as we near the end of round eight. Another effective round for Holly Holm. Well, we got a couple left here, Andre, and I think Mary Jo Sanders is going to have to come out and make a statement here. I think home you're crowd, right, Mike. Home crowd or no home crowd. Let's take a look now at Charlie Sanders, the worried papa, and <laughs> absolutely. That says it all. And as we mentioned, yeah, happy birthday, Holly. 27 years old today. Motown is now hometown. Well, she's already converting the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. A good combination. Stop Sanders dead in her tracks. Mary Jo looking a little bit more determined, though, this round. I think she knows, she knows the score as well. I think Jimmy Mallow made it clear to her in the corner. Jimmy's a very capable trainer. That's Mary Jo who's coming forward here now in Florine. Again, home spins away. Very tough to sustain anything against home. just bullying her way inside again. I think the bullying is stifling anything Mary Jo's trying to do. It's just smothering. It's just smothering any offense. Oh, good left hand just missing there. Sanders was rocked. Rocked back off balance. That was a solid shot by home. Mike Sanders is having a decent round this time. She seems to have gotten some of that snap back. There's a good left hook scoring there for Sanders. But right back against the ropes now, but now Sanders flurries off the ropes. Home down to the body, and Sanders working ahead. And a flurry again by Holmes. Both women here. Great action. Great action here in round nine. Good right hand by Sanders as home moved in. Ooh, and a big uppercut just missing. And that's the end of round number nine. Mike, I'm going to give Sanders the benefit of the doubt in that round. Let's take a look at the exchanges here that may have won Mary Jo the round. Just 
pretty much there. There we go, Andre. Here's round number 10. Maybe not the outcome, may not be what the crowd came to see, but certainly action-wise, this is everything that the fight was built to be. Mike, you could make a case that this is a close fight, and that Mary Jo Sanders could pull out a draw if she were to take this final oh, round. I agree. It depends on what fight you're watching. Here we go. IBA light heavy, light middleweight, excuse me, championship on the line here in round 10. Who wants it? Big uppercut by Sanders. And the crowd trying to rally. Mary Jo Sanders here trying to rally behind her. Sanders said she wanted to dig down deep and see what she had. Well, now's the time. Well, she may go to draw. I don't know if you could have her ahead on any cards at this point. That's something I was going to say, Mike. You could have this fight a draw, or you could have this fight a fairly wide decision for Holly Holm, but I don't think you could have a wide decision for Mary Jo Sanders. I agree. Past the minute point. Who wants it? Home now again coming forward as in the trademark. Oh, there's a good shot. Sanders now. Showing fatigue as we near the end of the fight here. But 20 seconds left. Home now with Sanders pinned in the corner. Does Sanders have anything left? An uppercut scoring. But Holmes simply backs away. Mike, I think Sanders is the one doing the fighting in this round. I think Holmes trying to use those bull rushes to turtle a little bit. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Ten rounds in the book. Holly Holm lifted up, as is Mary Jo Sanders, and this should be a very interesting decision, Andre. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've been waiting for, let's go up to our ring announcer with the official decision. After 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. Judge Denkin scores the contest 95-95. Judge Paul Smith scores the contest 93-97. And Judge Steve Weisfeld scores the contest 95-95 for a majority draw, ladies and gentlemen. Majority draw. Both winners here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And as we called it, Andre and I both picking the draw. Not really a shock here. Let's go up into the ring with Andre Cordoba. Holly, do you think you did enough to win tonight? I did. I, you know, when you're in somebody else's hometown, and um, I know that that's usually how it is when I'm at home. Um, I think that I felt I did enough. I think that she had some solid shots in those last couple rounds, but I think that I did enough to pull off the fight. But okay, so what's next? Are we going to see a third fight between you two? I say let's do it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Holly Holm. That's We're here with Mary Jo Sanders. Mary Jo, did you think you did enough to win? Yeah, I mean, you know, I did. Um, uh, really credit to Holly, though. You know, she actually fought. She didn't run. I, uh, I thought I had it. Um, you know, but hopefully we can do it again. And uh, she's proven that, that, you know, she can, she can fight. So that's, you know, that's great for her. Ladies and gentlemen, Mary Jo Sanders. Well, fight fans, just a tremendous night of action here at the Palace of Auburn Hills, brought to you by Donna Frio Boxing. 
Mary Jo Sanders, Holly Holm, battling to a majority draw. And Andre, I hate to toot our own horn, but we both called it. We sure did, Mike. <laughs> and I think the thing with this fight is that it, it leaves more questions unanswered than it answers. I think these two have to do it again, absolutely. The women's pound for pound title is now up for grabs, I believe. Absolutely. Well, Mary Jo didn't get redemption. I think the next fight can be called uh, rematch. And I think uh, nobody here would uh, argue against that. Fans, thank you very much for tuning in. Again, I'm Mike Michaels from my partner Andre Cordomash. Donna Frio Boxing. Till next time.